Good morning, folks. Last 24 hours on our star. Coronal hole visible, plasma filaments visible, bright umbral fields from sunspots visible, and surface surging. Remembering yesterday's reported eruption, indeed, the endless spirals are now updated and they show that the CME produced by the solar explosions may clip our planet, delivering a glancing blow from the plasma shockwave. It would be minor to moderate at worst. Quick note on the plasma filament dancing in on the north. This line of solar tornadoes have ionized iron core columns easily visible in 171 angstroms, and when we switch to 304, we see the ionized helium captured, held, swirling, and ready to lift off with the rest of the structure. Solar flaring? Very weak. Perhaps you notice that the decision of the sunspots to go silent often occurs in between heliocentric geometries like we have now. The spots here are either departing, decayed, or not yet mixing, so rather than give a detailed classification, suffice it to say that the planets will offer us another solar uptick beginning in as little as five days when the Earth comes between the Sun and Saturn. Quake upticks possible with that one too. Seven days of solar wind showing that the coronal hole stream impact is waning away now after two days of increased speed and geomagnetic unrest. This is picking the sensitive electron flux up off the floor, creating less jagged readings on the magnetometer, and Earth's shield is in recovery mode. Some folks are wondering why the current coronal hole isn't producing more quakes. Well, we had its IMF influence trigger one days ago, but now we're looking to alpha waves and the outward power of the coronal opening as it faces Earth. Over at Iswa, we see zero force. The coronal hole is there, but shockingly pitiful. This can change by the hour, so despite the calm on both Sun and Earth right now, it's something I'll keep an eye on. Top news today, USDA making a push to introduce a new GMO-free label. Before anyone gets too excited, there is already a USDA organic label, and frankly its standard should be much higher, and this is merely their answer to public outcries for labeling GMO foods. Monsanto and DuPont and similar companies pay way too much money to just let that type of regulation slide through, so their influence leaves us with this. Do not be fooled, and feel free to let the USDA know how you feel about them being in Monsanto's pocket. Hashtag boom roasted. Folks, if you've been living under a rock the last two days, you might have missed our new resource, magneticreversal.org. I hear all the time how stuff like this will hit your brain so softly, but when you try to explain it to others, it comes out chopped. Your tongue can't work as fast as your brain, and your communication misses the mark. This is the first of a number of new resources meant to explain a complex and serious topic to anyone you want to share it with. It's deliciously shareable. And last night, we popped the latest Deeper Look episode onto the site for public viewing as well. What Earth and the people living here can expect during the magnetic reversal. Folks, we're at New Zealand where the weather unleashed a major storm. The multi-node low-pressure cell was bound to do this if you think about the convergence lines and energy drawn into the system. The event dropped tornadoes, had damaging winds, and created flash flooding. And unfortunately, it hasn't moved much, so we're slated to get some more inclement alerts overnight and into tomorrow while the high-pressure node that was clearing Australia might finally be giving way as the convergence approaches Perth and the southwest coastlines there. North of that, strongest storm on Earth, Typhoon Dolphin churning away, set to head up and swing past Japan, but as of now the possibility of a no landfall event is good, let's hope so. Then let's jump across the Pacific to the United States where a low off the west coast is making unusual stormy weather for the coastlines and just inland there, while the heat and moisture continue racing up into the central states. That has severe alerts for tonight written all over it. The east should enjoy that warm-up before the storm system charges that way here in the coming days. Europe, lows visible up north still, but the strong opposite wind drive in the central areas takes the cake. It's actually a tough little low, bit of a Napoleon complex taking top alerts tonight. Folks, please remember we are on baby watch. My wife is due any day now, so if I don't show up one of these mornings here soon, it's because we're at the hospital and I'm becoming a dad. Got your current conditions, and then shots of our star to close. It's 6.05 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone. Uh -huh.